Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this web lecture. I am Mary Dorothy Talidro. And I am Jerk Justin Vialon. And, and we will discuss the difference between the legal positivism and natural law. Positive law and natural law are two extreme ideas. Both expresses fundamentally different idea on what the law should be, how to organize laws, the reasoning behind it, its guiding principle, and how to shape just behavior of people. In this web lecture, we'll also be discussing the differences between natural law and positive law, based on six sections. Firstly, we'll discuss the differences between God and the state or government, rationalism or justice between the concept that the law is just. We'll also be discussing morals versus control. We'll also be discussing universal laws versus man-made laws, born rights versus majority rules, common good versus general will. And we encourage everyone, before proceeding to this web lecture, to answer three fundamental questions. First, who defines what is moral and what is not? Second, is the idea of what is moral evolving? And lastly, what gives the law its validity? For our first comparison, we will compare God versus state and government. For natural law, man's duty is to confirm to God's moral limits. God is regarded as the ultimate authority. God's moral authority, in other words, is both necessary and sufficient to create legal authority. Human law must accord with God's law. On the other hand, for positive law, it is the state or government. Sovereignty is the ultimate authority. The sovereign right does not derive from God. It derives from the rules or principles of political morality. It's imposed by sovereign. It has political authority. Law is established by the state for the benefit of the state as a whole. A law is a general command issued by the sovereign of an independent government to be obeyed to some or all members of the society. Can be o can only be considered law once it is written down. Second distinction is natural laws, rationalism versus positive laws, the law is just. Rationalism is a belief or theory that opinions and actions should be based on reason and knowledge rather than political rules or emotional response. It adopts the practice of treating reason as the ultimate authority. If an action is morally right, then the action's moral rightness is the prima facie, justifying reason to perform it. On the other hand, the law is just. For positive law, if it has been correctly made, it should be normally obeyed, even if it is immoral. Law is order. The question about what is good and what is not is to be decided by the court to uphold order and security. Law needs to be forceful to preserve order in society. Third comparison is between morals and control. For morals, law is not separate from morality. It is subordinate to morality. If a law conflicts with morality, morality wins, and the law should be ignored. Law had a moral purpose. An immoral law need not necessarily be obeyed. For control, on the other hand, people agree to surrender rights in exchange for justice from a superior power. Whatever is decreed and enforced by authority, valid only within particular jurisdiction. It also adopts command theory, commands of the state, these commands may be in form of statutes, decrees, proclamations that are issued by a sovereign ruler. Fourth distinction, natural law is universal law, while positive law are man-made law. Universal law, because it exists and applies anywhere in the universe regardless of location, it is based upon principle and truth. Internal and immutable exist and applies for as long as the universe exists. It is universal for all men, and the rules that can be known by our natural powers of reasoning and which are universally valid. For man-made laws, the validity of law is tested on the basis of common good and common acceptance, regulations promulgated by legitimate human authority, complied with due to the fear of punishment. Laws changes with time. Some will be regarded as moot, some will be repelled and amended. For fifth comparison, this is between born rights and majority rules. For born rights, it's a human right. It does not need to be codified and written to be recognized. 
every human being is accorded with that right. On the other hand, majority rules is one that is working in a democracy. It means it's the will of majority. Conflicting views are resolved by the will of majority. Majority votes decide most action in the state. Laws reflect what the people want in general. Last comparison is common good and general will. Natural law is common good. It means idea of good life shared by all, shared and beneficial for all. For positive law, it entails general will. It means the greatest good for the greatest amount of people. Its purpose is to ensure the survival of its state and citizen. It builds up attributes to help better the lives of the most number of people. To understand natural law further, we need to take a look at the Nuremberg case. It was held for the purpose of bringing Nazi war criminals to justice. The Nuremberg trials were a series of 13 trials in Germany. The defendants, who included Nazi party officials and high-ranking military officers, along with German industrialists, lawyers, and doctors, were indict indicted on such charges as crimes against peace and crimes against humanity. And natural law implicitly underpinned the Nuremberg war trials of Nazi officials which established the principle that certain acts constituted crimes against humanity, even if they did not violate particular provisions of the positive law. The judges in these trials did not appeal explicitly to natural law theory, but their judgments exemplify an essential acknowledgement of the idea that the law is not automatically the exclusive criterion of right and wrong. To understand better the positive law, let us examine the case of Leo Ichigarai, a death penalty case. Ichigarai was the first Filipino to be met at the death penalty after its reinstatement in the Philippines in 1993. His death is part national debate over the legality and morality of death penalty. Ichigarai was accused on April 1994 for the rape of a 10-year-old daughter of his live-in partner. He was convicted by the Regional Trial Court of Quezon City on September 7, 1994. Less than a month later, Ichigarai was executed via lethal injection. Positive law dictates that the rule is just and it must be upheld at all times. Human right to live is disregarded because written statute law allows death penalty to penalize heinous crimes. The idea of maintaining control and order and to further security transcends over the life of a criminal. Everyone agrees that the crime is bad and we need to stop it. The criminal justice system is fair. People are judged by their actions, and killing another human being is about as profound as actions come. The rule of law must be upheld until repelled or condemned. Dorothy and I sincerely hope that you've learned something from our discussion from the difference between natural law and positive law. And that's it! Thank you guys for listening! God bless!